Hey guys! On this episode of Unusual Foods, we'll be uh, doing a taste test and taking a look at this guy, which is uh, bok choy. So if you've never heard of bok choy, it's a Chinese vegetable. Ve vegetable. It's a cruciferous vegetable, which is part of the broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, that kind of family, which is, um, if you're a vegan like me, uh, you need to kind of eat a lot of this stuff, uh, cruciferous vegetables, because they're high in calcium. So this is kind of the main source of calcium in the diet. I mean, obviously there's calcium in all plants, or virtually all plants have calcium in some amount, but it's quite high in this. And Chinese vegetables are very high in uh, calcium for whatever reason. So I tend to eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables that are Chinese. Um, other ones like su choy and uh, tong ho, gai lan, um, stuff like that. On this one, we're looking at bok choy. There's other types of bok choy as well, like Shanghai bok choy, baby bok choy. So you can see this is what it looks like when it's raw and it have this big white stalk and with some leaves on the top. Uh, when you cook it, it becomes all noodly and weird and soft. It's important to cook bok choy because it has some sort of acid in it. I forget the name of it, um, but you need to cook it to get that out of it. Otherwise, you'll be, I don't know, ingesting that, which I think inhibits uh, nutrient intake, something like that. You want to cook your bok choy. When you cook it, uh, I steam this in my Instant Pot for a couple minutes. That's probably the best way you can, you can chop it up too and um, boil it into a soup or a stew or something. If you're going to eat it like this, I mean, I'm not going to eat it straight like this. I would chop it into chunks but if you're to you know put that in a bowl ideally what I would do is put uh, soy sauce with it you can make a really tasty peanut sauce some peanut butter some sesame oil and um, a little bit of almond milk apple cider vinegar and mix that in make a nice like creamy sauce or you can just go with a soy sauce um, or soy sauce and sesame oil or sesame seeds make a nice sauce out of that but for this we're doing the straight bok choy taste test. I'm going to chop this bit in half. So the bottom of the stem is going to be a lot more kind of like uh, chunky or like thick. Hmm. Bok choy's got like a nice, um, it's, I don't know, it's like a nice rich flavor. It's kind of like if you took broccoli and then you kind of like shifted it over here in the flavor spectrum. So it's like, it doesn't taste like broccoli, but it's kind of gotten that same sort of earthy green, um, a tasty kind of, I don't know, like maybe between broccoli and Brussels sprouts or something like that. Um, there's no other way to really describe it. You'd have to try it out, but the, the stem there tastes really tasty. If you go to the leaves, they'll taste different. If you really want to like spend a lot of time, you know, with your cooking, you can cook the leaf part halfway through the stems because the stems take more time to cook than the leaves and then they'll all be perfectly cooked because you can see these are overcooked but i just throw it all in my instant pot because i don't have time for all that riffraff but hmm so the leaves they taste um i find all these chinese greens leaves to taste very similar like that tastes very similar to gai lan the leaves of that and it's just kind of like um spinach without kind of that strong, I don't know, what's irony taste or something. Spinach has a very spinachy flavor. If you kind of get rid of that signature spinach flavor and you're just left with like greens, <laughs> that's what this tastes like. Um, the real like enjoyment comes from the white part. This is the more tasty part, especially if you put soy sauce on that, that's game over, just delicious. And then you mix that in with some black beans or something, oh, just perfect. So hopefully give you some ideas here. If you've never tried bok choy, you want to try it out and you like, what is this thing? Who's this guy? Well, my name is David. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe and until the next one, have a great day.